y'all, it's Yosha, and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. So, y'all, something weird is going on with my piercing. It started swelling yesterday, and it looks like it's trying to reject. But, if you didn't know, your girl is the piercing guru in this thing, like an OG YouTuber. Um, a long time ago, like five, six years ago, when I got my nose repairs, I had a keloid bump kind of come and I made this paste using some aspirin some sea salt and some water so I thought hmm maybe I should try this on my belly to see if that makes the swelling go down and makes my piercing go back to normal because I've had it for about five and a half months and I haven't had any problems with swelling since it was like three weeks post piercing so we ain't finna we're not finna claim rejection okay I'm losing weight Y'all, I'm looking fine again. I don't want to have to go get this repaired. But like right in here, it's like a little swollen. It was a little bit of white discharge coming out earlier. So and it just doesn't look like it was looking before. Picked up this Tylenol Extra Strength. So I took it in a napkin and I crushed it up. I crushed it up so fine. Ooh, I don't want to lose all my little particles. But it looks like that. Now, somebody said under my video where I did the nose paste that you can um, use goody powder. Again, I use what I have. A lot of folks comment, they ask me, can you use uh, Advil? Can you use Tylenol? Can you use ibuprofen? Can you use whatever? You use whatever pain medicine like for headaches that you have. Now, I washed off this clear shot glass. It's the same shot glass that I use when I clean my piercing. I cleaned it out. I used some Dawn dish soap. It looks foggy because it's been having salt put in it for the last five and a half months, but it's clean. And then you want to use some sea salt. Y'all be commenting. Y'all be asking me, hey, Yosha, can I use uh, iodized salt? No. When you go to the, the place to get your piercing, they're going to tell you you need sea salt. And you want to have sea salt that is non-iodized it's not gonna work if you use regular salt so you're just gonna pour some salt in here i usually do it to where i can see it at the bottom of my glass i'm going to take my diy goody tylenol powder and i'm going to pour that inside the glass okay and you could crush up too if you want to, but the shot glass serving is not a lot. And this is what it looked like. You can see little red specks because the Tylenol is, this is not generic, this is name brand Tylenol. It says Tylenol on it. I'm gonna move my camera, it's gonna come with me to the kitchen. This is an impromptu video, ain't no preparation or nothing like that. So y'all wanna talk about my kitchen? Hey, look, I don't care. It's the truth. This is what it looked like around here sometimes after dinner. Move this crap out the way, okay? My husband in the background. Now, the difference, oh, it's dark, darkness, everybody. Let's, let's bring the ring light with us. The only difference between my process now versus my process five years ago is that I don't use my bathroom sink anymore. It's not about like me worrying about water, which a lot of folks was like liking that one girl who said I was wasting a lot of water. It's that I find that boiling the water, whoo, I almost burnt my finger. It purifies that water much better and it gets it hotter, which helps it to be more sterile and helps it to be good for cleaning your piercing or making this paste. Now, you can pour your pot directly into your shot glass. We got this little ladle thing in here. So that's what I'm gonna use. Whoop. So you take your ladle you don't really need a lot of water because you want this to be thick. It's going to be a paste. So I am going to add just a little bit. Now, what I didn't think to get was a Q-tip so I could mix it together. So, thank you, babe. <laughs> My baby is the goat. He gave me, see, went and got me some Q-tips because he saw I was filming. Okay. So you take a clean Q-tip and you mix it together and so you form your paste. And you want your paste to be kind of thick. If your paste is watery, 
you can still use this, but it's not going to be able to stay on your piercing overnight, which is what I'm going to attempt to do with this. Um, now, you could add another aspirin tablet or more salt. Salt tends to sting, though, so you want to be careful. You take um, your Q-tip and your paste, and you might want to let it cool, because if it's not cool, it might burn a little bit. But you're going to rub that around the piercing. And honestly, y'all, I'm doing the other side. This is like the fourth time that I've cleaned this piercing today. I haven't been using Tylenol all day. All the other times I just did sea salt and water to see if that would help my swelling go down. And it seemed to go down. Then my child was playing. Who was singing? My child was playing and he ended up hitting me in my stomach by mistake. And he hit me right on the middle of my tummy, so it hurt the piercing. Shortly after that, some clear discharge came out. It was more of a white clear. And so now I'm like, okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know. This is the consistency. I feel like it's not as thick as it was last time. Maybe I should have left it with the amount that I had in it. Let me pour some of that water out. So I'm just gonna try to scoop a little bit of it and just rub it around the piercing. But what I don't want is for my piercing to start trying to push this jewelry out and reject. But I'm not gonna lie, it's sore, it's hurting right here. You want me to make this even more easy for you to do at home? I'm just gonna use some tissue, okay? This is the Sam's Club tissue. All right, with, I've washed my hands, I'm getting a piece of tissue and I'm going to dip my tissue into my shot glass and let it absorb my paste. And look, at the bottom of this glass, you can kind of see how it looks pasty. This is how it was supposed to look anyway. And then leave that on overnight. Now, you can actually see that residue on there. You see that red right there? That's the tie and all. I'm just going to sit this on there where it's swelling and hold it on there. Like that, maybe hold it for like two minutes. I feel it's starting to burn. That's what it's looking like. The paste came off and it's like on there, but you can see it better now, like how it's swollen right in here in this area. And all that buildup stuff is the uh, paste. So I'm gonna also put some tea tree oil on it as well in the morning. And I guess I'm gonna repeat until the swelling goes down because I'm really not trying to take my piercing out. I've not even changed this jewelry, nothing. Now, y'all might be wondering, well, how does your belly just start swelling? The only thing I can say is I wore a pair of high-waisted jeans for the first time in a long time, and I felt it rubbing up against my belly, and I guess it irritated my piercing. And so now I realize that I have to be careful about the type of fabrics that I wear. Leggings are fine. Breathable shirts like this one are fine. But if I wear something like jeans that could be tight and restricting that material irritates and then it starts to inflame that area so yeah stay tuned y'all let y'all know in the morning good morning y'all it's the next day and i want to show you guys what my belly looks like after applying my paste let me bend this down so y'all can see okay so as you can see, some of the swelling did go down. Um, and it's my piercing is kind of, it looks like it's kind of stuck to my skin. So I'm boiling some water so that I can just clear the leftover residue with some sea salt and some water. 
And then I'm gonna rub some tea tree oil around it. I'm gonna repeat the process tonight, but the swelling is definitely went down. It doesn't hurt like it was yesterday. If this happens to you, try making a paste with some sort of aspirin or Tylenol, sea salt and warm water. I'll come back and show you guys what the tea tree oil looks like. I got mine at CVS years ago and I still have the bottle because I don't use my tea tree oil a lot but it comes in handy for healing these piercings. I remember when I had some inflammation several months ago, I used some a little bit of tea tree oil around it just to kind of help and it did. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. Subscribe if you want to see more piercing content or if you just want to check out the other content on my channel. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.